today I am matching my plant and I am also kind of matching my new couch. Hello, Dad. I got a new couch of my friend Jala and I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in my room or the office. But after thinking about it a little bit, I think I'm going to put it in the office, clearly. We have taken out the first kind of part of the grey couch. I'm just starting to have doubts. I don't know, I love the green. If it's not going to go in the office, it'll go in my room. But I thought it would look nice in the office, but it's a lot smaller and I just, I don't know, I'm starting to have doubts. But I feel like once I move things around and like the other part of the green couch is here, it'll work. As much as this couch is just a couch and I will be able to bring back the grey couch if I decide, I feel like it symbolises a lot more right now, which is just that things are changing and I need to be okay with that. Change is good. I actually don't want it to stay the same, but ugh, staying the same is also comfortable. I don't know. That's that's how I'm feeling at the moment. But yeah, I don't know. I've always had a fantasy of like a green velvety kind of couch. And as you guys saw, I got those kind of like green velvet pillows. That was my like little way to kind of make those dreams come true, but yeah, I don't know, I really wanted this kind of couch for a while, but now I'm like, I got so used to the grey one. I put on my story a little thing, like asking if you guys prefer the green or the grey, and so far, green is 74% of you guys, so it's definitely in the lead. This is so unsettling. <laughs> Jarvis, everyone's asking where you've been. Where have you been? I've been to hell and back. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'm on the new couch. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to arrange it. I feel like that once I get the mirror, I'll have like a better idea of the space. Right now, I feel like it's just not completely done, so it just looks a bit awkward. I wanted to talk to you guys about a book that I finished today, Atomic Habits. So many of you guys, every time I do some sort of like habit or like routine video, I like read Atomic Habits and it's been on my list for so long. And finally, a few days ago, I started it and I literally finished it within I think like three days. I have been switching between the audiobook and the book. Overall, I really, really like this book. I left feeling really motivated and I just really like kind of self-help books that give really good examples and also just make you feel like you are really managing to integrate all the information that they're giving and I feel like he just writes in such a good way that every tool and trick he gives you you feel like you can actually see yourself doing through examples and imagery. A lot of the things he does say are very simple but things that sometimes you just need to hear and like really understand like process it without going into too much of the book i highly recommend for anyone who honestly just anyone because we all need this book but specifically for people wanting to create change in their life and create new habits and just set themselves on a trajectory to where they want to go and achieving their goals and one thing that really made me happy when i read this book is just the whole part where he talks about the fact that you know these little tiny things that we do every day make a massive difference in a year, two years, three years. But in the day to day, in the week to week, or even the month to month, sometimes it doesn't feel like you're going anywhere. And a lot of times it takes us doing it again and again and again till there's a bit of a breaking point and you actually see a big difference. And I feel like that's in so many areas of our life. Like even in my career and like with YouTube, sometimes it just feels like I'm putting so much effort, I'm putting so much effort, and then it's just like, 
nothing's happening but then it just takes that one video that like brings more audience and it's just like there's these little tipping points a lot of times from the outside it can look like oh there was an overnight success and stuff but it's actually like the months of little things leading up to that that have made it an overnight success if that makes sense and i don't know that just really comforted me to remind myself that you know on the day-to-day -day, maybe I'm not getting the greatest rewards from doing those little things that are helping me but in the bigger picture I'm really helping myself to create the life I want to live and just be the person I want to be. So highly recommend so many good tips. I really want to try to read over 24 books this year so like that's over two books a month which is super achievable. I've just always been that person that like hasn't read much and I want to change that because I love reading and I'm a person that really enjoys getting new information. Something that he actually said in the book is when you want to create a new habit and change it's also about changing your identity and how you feel about yourself so if you want to do more reading for instance like me I need to be careful not to say oh I'm not much of a reader because that's not going to help me change the habit. So by changing my identity to being a person that likes to read and likes to gain knowledge, I am going to read at least two books a month. And to hold myself accountable, which is another thing he says with habit changing in the book, I am going to be sharing what books I'm reading with you guys on my channel and on my Instagram. So not only do I get to connect with you guys and recommend books and we can have these kind of book conversations, which I've been really loving to do, it also pushes me to actually read the books because if not, you guys will know. So now I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna rest a bit and then I'm actually going to make a little vegan cheese board and sandwich for me and Ethan to have as a little picnic. He doesn't know I'm surprising him. I just told him to meet me at Water Goes, but I just thought it could be cute to do something nice. For some reason, he really likes sandwiches and I've always said I'd make him a sandwich one day and I never have. So I'm gonna try to make him a sandwich and yeah, that will be really cute. So I'm gonna see him, but then since this vlog is all about change and doing new things, I am actually going to go to an art class or not an art class, like a live drawing class. So pretty much you have like a live naked model and you draw them. I've done this once before years ago and I really enjoyed it, but it was also pretty confronting like being around all these like kind of confident artists. I'm not putting any pressure on myself to be good or to be anything I'm just showing up and yeah I'm excited for that so I don't think I'll be able to film much of the live drawing class because I don't really want to like film the model and make people uncomfortable um, but I will definitely let you guys know how it goes and yeah anyway I'm gonna go home rest and we will start cooking soon <laughs>
so it's the next day. I've just been working all day, but I wanted to turn on the camera and quickly give a little reflection on the art class and show you guys some of my drawings. I never show anyone my art, but I'm trying to just get better at like not feeling like everything I create and share needs to be at this like insane standard and like sometimes sharing is just about sharing and not about anything else. So I'm gonna share some of the drawings I did. I'm actually pretty happy and proud of myself for just like having fun and not taking it seriously. And like, I just really didn't think that much. Like I just got there and I just started drawing and just did whatever came to me, which for some people might be really easy. For me, I've always really struggled with perfectionism and like, especially with art, it was like, I. I just was so hard on myself and compared myself to others and this time I just really didn't and I was like wow I've really grown since last time I've tried something like this but like pretty much the model kind of moves from poses sometimes pretty fast sometimes she stays in poses longer so like for instance the first one I did was this one which as you can see she was like in all these different kind of poses and I was just kind of going after she kind of changed I think she was in each pose for like two minutes something like that so you kind of just go quite quickly I kind of did something like this which she was like in one pose but then I just started doing like little portraits and pen of her face this is kind of one of the last ones I did she was kind of like lying on her back if that makes sense it definitely made me want to go more often. I mean, it's only like $20 for a class and it's like a two hour session. You really just get free reign. Like he starts the class and he doesn't say anything throughout the whole time. The teacher's just drawing as well. Like you have no guidance, which I kind of love because with this kind of art, like it's more about just getting out of your head and doing what feels right and what you want to try out rather than like learning a specific technique. But yeah, it's been a really, really rainy day all of today, so I'm really happy that I did the picnic with Ethan yesterday. It was actually so sweet. He was so grateful for it, which was just so nice. And we ended up actually having a really nice conversation just about life and where we're both at. And it just, I think, was really comforting to know that we're in a very similar place, which is kind of this weird feeling of everything changing in our lives we both have all of our close friends kind of moving away from byron i feel like all my friends were kind of like going to move to sydney and melbourne and stuff and then covid happened and everyone just stayed in byron and i think i just got really used to just having all my people in the same place and i loved it and now most of my friends have or are leaving in the next month or so like i literally went through all my friends the other day and realized it's like literally maybe no one going to be here and it was pretty similar for ethan and i don't know it was just really nice to like talk to him and be like oh shit like we're not alone in this and also just talking to my friends and like they're feeling the same like there's just so much change going on and it's exciting and i think we've all been waiting for this after like two years of it being the same but i think i've just also got very comfortable and i really managed to make the best out of the situation that i was in and being in byron with covid and everything but now it's over and i'm like wait i think i got really used to how it has always been <laughs> a fringe i've been thinking about it for a while and i just decided it's kind of getting colder again so i don't know i just associate having a fringe with like winter time yeah after i got my hair cut i went and visited chloe and heidi at their house and i don't know i just felt really emotional when i said goodbye like i'm literally tearing up i don't think they <laughs> got that emotional but it was just like they're literally leaving next month <laughs> and it's like not a big deal they're like still in australia and i can go visit them but it's more like you know they're moving out of that apartment and like i feel like there's just so many memories <laughs> in that apartment and like i don't know it's just always such like a safe place for me to go like it was it was like the place that 
I never even had to like call I could just show up or like they didn't even have to be there like if I needed to go there I just could <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying like I am fine <laughs> I'm just emotional like I just feel like this whole video I've been kind of processing and talking about the fact that I'm getting more comfortable with knowing things are changing and that the future is so unknown but I don't think I realized that with new beginnings I also have to grieve like the past chapter and I don't know it's just a lot it's all happening it's also currently flooding outside like everywhere some of the roads are closed I know school has been cancelled I swear this happens every February in Byron we just get so flooded but um I think that doesn't help feeling a bit unsettled whenever it's like flooding and pouring raining it's just like a bit chaotic and I'm just like ugh. anyway it's all good but I'm just definitely realizing that things are changing and it's not just in my head <laughs> and that's okay anyway I think <laughs> I might end this video here. Um, I hope that, um, yeah, you guys may be going through some of the same feelings and that this comforted you. Um, you're definitely not alone. As you can tell, I'm an emotional wreck. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to Sydney tomorrow for about a week, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. I actually don't have a return ticket back. I was just gonna kind of see, but I'm gonna go see some friends there and just have a bit of a change of scenery speaking of change so hopefully i'll try vlog some of my trip there i love you guys and i'll see you all very very soon Mwah.